We all like winning the video game. Toppling over the enemy team and completing the objective to hear the sweet VICTORY. Naturally, we want to use the best weapons available to us in order to best our opponent in this digital arms race, but I won't stall for too long. This is why the Holy Mackerel is a direct upgrade to the stock bat. Now when you look at these two weapons, it seems pretty clear that they're just the same weapon with a different cosmetic appearance. That was your first mistake. But to understand why one weapon outshines its peer by a larger margin than Manco's own profit margins, we're going to have to break down each part of the weapons to get the full picture. The first and most important part of a weapon to most players is the damage. Now it may seem like the Holy Mackerel and the Bat do the same 35 base damage with 105 damage upon a critical hit, but that would be ignoring a huge hidden stat on the Holy Mackerel. It has a 100% crit rate. It lets you get away with stuff like this, that, and yes, even this. <laughs> Whereas if you attempt the same with the stock bat, you just... BANG! I make it look easy. And I'm still a piece of garbage. Now if you're not one to care much about damage, there are other factors that play into why the holy mackerel is superior to its dented metal counterpart. The key lies in one word, or maybe two if you're illiterate like our double jumping friend here. Okay, this does not look good here, um... Jiggle bones. Can the stock bat do this? No. No, I didn't think so. All it can do is stay still and sad as it watches in sheer envy of the holy mackerel. Aw, oh, jeez! This sucks on ice! I mean, sometimes the jiggle bone breaks, but uh, don't pay attention to that valve, please fix. Another thing worth mentioning is the sheer amount of cosmetic options the holy mackerel has. Decorated? Yes. Festive? Yes. Festivized? Yes. Unusual. Did I stutter? Now let's look at the bat's alternate skins. Wow, yeah, that's totally worth 13 keys. Finally, the marking mechanic built into the Holy Mackerel makes it so every single successful hit is displayed on the kill feed, ending with a fish kill when you clobber a poor soul to death with your finned friend. This proves useful for doing one of my favorite things in TF2, bullying spies. Specifically dead ringer spies. The Deadringer's foe death will only count as a fish hit in the kill feed, ending with a fish kill when the spy's death was real. And there you have it. That's why I think the Holy Mackerel is a direct upgrade to the bat. Don't agree with me? That's totally fine. The whole point of TF2's wide variety of loadouts is to use whatever you like. With that being said, thanks so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. Hey.